Hi, I'm Mary Ruth Mendenhall. I'm president of the Liberty Bells Extension Homemakers Club here in La Fountain. Our club was uh, chartered in 1961. We will be 60 years old this year. We've had a steady membership of 20 to 25 members through all of these years. When the club was first formed, it was a group of young mothers with lots of kids. And most meetings we had more kids than we had club members because everybody brought their kids to club. And we met in the afternoons, but we finally got a little smarter and decided to meet in the evenings so dad could take care of the kids, which was really nice. So through the years, there's been a number of projects, that, things that, that we've been involved in. Our club has published uh, two cookbooks uh, as fundraisers. We, uh, we get our uh, lessons from it for Extension Homemakers through Purdue University. We have six lessons a year. Uh, they will be on uh, such things as foods, as on finances, health and safety, money management. Right now we have 21 active members. We just, the last month, had what we call our spring fling, which again, this started several years ago. And it's one day a year that we do something as a club, just for fun, and it's usually a whole day's outing, something we all look forward to. Uh, one of the things that Extension Homemakers do is to sew and make things for Riley Children's Hospital. One of the things that, that we do is the puppy pillows. And this is a pillow. The Riley Cheer Guild will paint a puppy face on this pillow. And then this pillow will be given to some child immediately following surgery. And that is their pillow to keep. Other things that, uh, that we make for the Riley Hospital are quilts and fleece blankets, pinafores, knit caps for little preemie babies, and there's, there's always, always is a need for that. We have a craft bazaar in the fall, which is our main fundraiser. Uh, that can be crafts, it can be baked goods, whatever, whatever anybody wants to bring in. In the, in the spring of the year, there is a, a homemakers conference at Purdue University that's always enjoyable for people to go to. Years ago, we heard of a young child at Vernon Manor whose parents had been killed in an accident and he was terribly disabled and had no family support. Our club more or less adopted him and saw to it that twice a year there was money there for clothing or toys or whatever the needs would be. Well, this young man died three or four years ago and we decided as a club we would continue to give the same amount of money to Vernon Manor that we had been giving through the years uh, for this young man. So each year we do make a memorial gift there, and that's something that we have been really rather proud of.